Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, and it'll be on the ballot, the engineer. When they allowed nicknames, I submitted it, and they said, how can you prove the world knows you as the engineer? And I said, check the Guinness Book of World Records. Now, I'm here to complain about Canada's national debt. This is it. Notice it started to grow in 1974. And since then, it's grown hundreds of billions, and we've paid at least a trillion in debt service over the last 40 some years since 1974. Now take a look at the Ontario debt. Same thing, 1974. Then the Ontario debt started to grow out of control. Oh, take a look at the Quebec debt, 1974. Same thing, started to grow again. Now, this is not just Canada. Take a look at France's debt, 1974. What happened in 1974? Well, I'm not going to tell you. If you want to know, you go to my website, smartestmanonearth.ca. See the video there about what happened in 1974, because I don't have the time. But I will say that I'm the closest education to Mr. Spock on this planet. Systems engineering and mathematics of gambling. And who used to figure out the odds on Star Trek? So I'm trying to tell you that you've been ripped off about 70 grand a piece. About two trillion dollars we've been taxed for debt service since 1974. And if they hadn't done that, we'd all have 70 grand on our bank accounts instead of the bankers' bank accounts. You want to know how they did it? Go to smartestmanonearth.ca. Number two, got to talk about climate change. You all remember the hockey stick graph, right? The famous hockey stick graph, and they're going, oh, look, it's terrible. It's going to go all the way up to here. Then in 1998, it stopped. They call it a pause, but they were caught fudging the data, and they used a trick to hide the decline. So it was a decline, not a pause. They were hiding. But the big lie is this. The actual graph had the medieval warming period way hotter than today. And that's when Greenland was green and you grow stuff there. And they had grapes in Britain when it was way warmer than now without all this CO2. So the fact that CO2 is spiking and the temperature has cut off is trying to tell you you've been lied to. So you got a whole bunch of politicians in all the major parties still fooled by the trick to hide the decline, including the dropout engineering student Justin Trudeau, who would have never graduated if he couldn't master thermometers. So we got lied to by the people who fudge the data. If you go check medieval warm period, you will find the truth. And yet, you bought this, and you're now paying carbon taxes to prevent yourself from something that isn't causing warming? Yeah, what a bunch of dummies. And that's why I'm the smartest man on earth.ca, and I didn't fall for it when the truth came out. I did before the truth came out, but once they lied, I knew it was over. So I just had to crash that myth with so much money being wasted and remind you about your 70 Gs that can get you back. Thank <laughs> you.